I've had my 2019 Rocky Mountain Maiden for over two years now, and I've been very happy with it. I love the geometry of this bike, and I really love that I can swap between 26 and 27.5 wheels. I first revealed this to you guys as a mixed wheel or mullet bike, 27.5 front and 26 rear. But for most of last year, I then made a 26 inch front wheel for it, and I really enjoyed that too. I was doing some of my best riding at the end of last season with this. There was just one thing I didn't care for as much on this bike, and that was just the paint job. Actually, I do think the green looks pretty nice, but I didn't really care for those orange accents with it though. Sure, I do think it looks pretty solid, but I can't help but think that this could look better in blue. I even tried editing some images here to see what we'd be working with. Last winter, I took the whole frame apart and cleaned everything, got new bearings installed into the frame, and this would be a good opportunity to do a vinyl wrap on the frame. I could also get it painted, but I didn't really feel like paying for that right now. I was pretty confident that my vinyl wrap job could work out, so I bought a number of different sample colors, and I decided on this one blue that when combined with a gloss frame protection over it, it creates a nice darkish glossy blue that I think looks pretty nice. Here's the problem. Trying to wrap these rear triangle pieces was a total nightmare. So much cutting up different little chunks to try and fill every space. I've actually since decided I'm never gonna vinyl wrap a bike frame ever again. I think I would just get it painted next time. I was taking so long to get this done because it just wasn't fun anymore. For the front triangle though, the most important part, I was pretty confident I can get it looking flawless because it's a more simple shape to wrap around. And I am quite happy with how this turned out. You will definitely see imperfections if you look close up on some areas, but honestly, you're probably never gonna notice that in any of my videos. So with the vinyl wrap installed and the frame protection installed over top, it's time to put the whole frame together. It's my first time taking apart and rebuilding this bike, so it's really great to get to know how it all works. So far, I'm really liking how this looks. What do you guys think? Time to rebuild the rest of the bike. Now about my rear wheel, it's an older 26 inch MTX 33, because I thought it'd be kind of cool to ride that. I had a few of them left over. They are supposed to be quite strong, but I have had a number of rim dingers. Something about this bike, I actually hit the rear rim more than any of my other bikes. Almost as if there's more energy pushing down into the rear wheel or something. Well, I tried to straighten out the bends and I think that's good enough for this season at least. I'm also thinking of getting a rear 27.5 wheel made and just going full 27.5 with this bike. My Marzocchi suspension got rebuilt for the first time during the winter so it should feel nice and fresh. I even got myself some titanium bolts from Better Bolts for this fork. I think it looks pretty flashy and I save a whopping 17 grams. What do you think of my cockpit now? I love the way my cash money gold handlebars look with this frame. And this year, I'm putting back on that 27.5 front wheel since it will be better for the tech trails. The front wheel is exactly the same as I had in 2020 with the same Asagai tire, still barely anywhere on it, so it will be great for this year too. I put a new 2.5 Magic Mary on the rear. It is an older version, but I do think it'll be just fine as a rear tire. I'm trying some good old ODI roughing grips this time around and I put an STFU system to keep the chain quiet. Otherwise the build is basically the same as last year with my Shimano Saint drivetrain, Saint brakes. I like those a lot. After about 8 months off this bike, it's time to send and I took it out to the Sun Peaks bike park for its first ride of the season. Sun Peaks has really been expanding. They opened a whole new lift this year for the bike park. First time riding my Maiden, finally. And this is a brand new trail called Stella Blue. No breaking bumps in sight. Beautiful conditions. Blue flow trails aren't typically something I would ride a ton of, but the builders at Sun Peaks did a great job of this one. Tighten my headset up even more. They got some more new Black Diamond Flow trails like Bad Habit and Super Nugget, which I thought was really awesome. Oh, 
My bike feels like rattly. Like maybe it's the headset again. I don't know, something's weird on it. For some reason, it was starting to feel as if my headset wasn't able to tighten up properly. Like the headset feels loose again, like. So after checking with a local shop what the issue was, it turns out I just needed a small spacer under this top cap. It was just a hair too close to the steer tube and was not able to clamp down enough. Well, I'm glad that was an easy fix. I never really encountered that problem before. All right, thanks. Okay, shall we? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Well, now that I'm feeling better on the bike, no more rattling, we've got to check out a classic jump line called Steam Shovel. It's very similar to A-Line, but possibly better. And there's some amazing tech out here that I also can't wait to ride this mullet setup on again. It's looking pretty much the same though, huh? So chill. Yeah, very chill. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so sick. Oh, that's so good, dude. Oh, those jumps are that awesome. was sick. They that flowed so, so good, dude. Oh, that flows so good. well. That, yeah, I loved yeah. it. that second tabletop, hey. I went no brakes. I bottomed out. I overshot it. Oh, wow. Yeah, see those lips feel like just perfect. Those are the best, that's the best that line's ever felt. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I love jumps. Oh yeah, this part's pretty good. Okay. Some of the jumps are, I'm gonna follow Liam. The final jumps on this trail do take a bit of getting used to, remembering what the speed you need is. Some of these jumps are longer than you realize and you really need a lot of speed. All right, that one's pretty easy to clear. Whoa, oh, okay. That was a little snack. Okay, I do not know these jumps. Wow, I gotta remember how these go. <laughs> Yo. Oh man. Sick. That was awesome. I didn't do them very well. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. I was going high. <laughs> a few of those, I was like, I was being extra cautious on some though. You wanna try to do a song with me? You get it. Do you want the lower or the higher side? I couldn't just take the lower side. The lower side looks better. Let's get it. Okay. No. All right, sending dual song. <laughs> yeah. Woo. These corners are a bit loose and tight. All right. You won. <laughs> I ended up going on your side. Oh, did you? Let's do some DH. I love this one. <laughs> you know. Wow. Oh my goodness. It gets so rowdy, dude. That's fun though. I really wonder what that would be like on the Boost Monster. Speaking of the Boost Monster, I actually brought it here to Sun Peaks this weekend. And that's because I was pretty sure that Sun Peaks will be really good on that bike. I just had a hunch. And so that's why I was thinking about what kind of trails do I want to ride with that bike. And the fun idea I had was to try and do some comparisons between my Maiden and the Boost Monster and see which bike is faster on certain trails. So that's going to be a whole nother video. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Thanks. Yeah, you too. All right, so I did DH, that's lots of fun. Now I want to try high octane. This should be sick. 
trails like High Octane here, for example, are why I love Sun Peaks for their tech riding. It's just so much fun, it's fast. I'm definitely benefiting from having that bigger 27.5 front wheel. Wow! Whoa, okay, that was sick. Gotta try that on the Boost Monster though. I know it may seem kind of weird to you guys because most mullet or mixed wheel setups would just do a 29er front and 27.5 rear. For me, I just feel like that's just a bit too big. I did mention, I think I will try a full 27.5 setup on this bike yeah, as well. That'll make it even better on the tech. And who knows, maybe I will prefer that over the mullet setup. That's just one of the really cool things I love about this bike is its versatility. It really is a shame that Rocky Mountain stopped making this in 2019. Smitty Steeps gets uh, a bit steep, let's just say. Look how much this is eroded. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're just in a trench. This gets steep, dude. <laughs> Ooh. But you know what? Oh shit, <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. It kind of seems to be a trend where so, there's less and less DH bikes, more of the longer travel enduro bikes. Meanwhile, I'm over here putting together my 300 millimeter Huck bike with 26 inch wheels and I'm having a blast. But you'll see what I mean soon enough once I take out the boost monster to these trails. Let's go and do sweet one for some more tech. This part's sick. I was having such a blast on these trails with my maiden. I was totally getting the hang of this bike again by the evening, and especially by the next day. The feel of this bike was all coming back to me. I was riding better than ever. Sick. That's so sick. Oh, I love it. Freaking love it. I did it better that time with more confidence because I did it once yesterday. Let's see how gnarly it can get. Oh, let's not get too out of control. Whoa, sh <laughs> Trails like DH are what I just love about the Sun Peaks Bike Park. Super fun, gnarly, fast tech. I felt good. I was definitely going faster than yesterday. Yeah. You haven't even seen the gnarliest on. stuff though. I'm gonna try Honey Drop pretty soon here, and that one gets ridiculous. Right on. Whoa, I drifted. Okay, my maiden's feeling better today than yesterday. That's sick. You can see how, how much higher my handlebar is, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's a higher stack height. I actually am thinking I'm gonna lower it a bit. Yeah. yeah. It feels good, but it's just for like cornering. It's yeah. not as ideal. Just wait till I get my Boost Monster bike. Exactly. That's like three inches taller. So we're gonna go do a super gnarly run. Honey drop, which is double black diamond. Pretty long trail. All right, let's see, what are we going? Honey drop is to the right. Let's do honey drop. Whoops. <laughs> Now for this first part of the trail, you're thinking this doesn't look like a double black. And that's true for now, but don't you worry. It ramps up a lot very soon. Okay, this part was a bit sketch. Yo. Shit. Shit. Oh my freaking goodness. Shit. 
Yo, that was so insane. Oh, that was so insane. Yo. <laughs> okay, that is sick. Yo. That part got insane. Oh, wow. Are you kidding me? Oh, shit. I remember that. That got crazy. I'm actually not sure that I'm as comfortable riding the boost monster on that because of how like, it, there's some tight corners though. That's cool. Oh yeah, trails merge here. That's right. Yeah, this is more doable. <laughs> not as insane as that part back there. That's fun though, I like that. <laughs> so good. Whoa. Yo. Oh, that part was good. Man, that's insane. It's just that middle section that was just ridiculous. Well, it did take a bit of breaking it again from the first day, but now I'm feeling so good on this bike. I can't wait to see what we can get up to on this bike this year. I know I built it up kind of late, but we do got time to ride it on more amazing trails. Now that I have a few hours left in the day, I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna take out the boost monster now because I really believe Sun Peaks will be great on this bike. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ride some of the same trails I just rode with my maiden here. And we're gonna do some comparisons and see which bike is faster. What do you guys think is gonna be better on these tech trails out here? The maiden or my Franken bike boost monster with 300 millimeters of suspension? Let me know in the comments. Well, hey, the bike was feeling awesome. I think that bigger front wheel was helping me keep more speed on some of those fast techy sections. What do you guys think of these mixed wheel setups? Do you prefer it or do you like having the same wheel size front and rear? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to see a sweet video of me riding my Maiden when it was still in the full 26 inch setup, check out this video of me riding Whistler with it last year. 